What's up, Snake fans? Dave Palumbo here from Muscle Serpents Daily. And I wasn't going to do a video, and then I said, ah, I promised you guys there was going to be another video tomorrow. So here we are doing it. We actually had a, a clutch hatch out. Um, it didn't, I didn't hit the odds I wanted, but I wanted to show you the clutch anyway because it's a beautiful clutch. And there's a lot of cool stuff in it. So we'll take a look at that, and then we're going to look at some boas, some, some dark boas too. So a lot of exciting stuff uh, to show you guys. Uh, you know, sometimes I get a little creatively inspired when it gets late at night. I was going to go home and go to sleep early. I'm like, oh, let's just, let's take some video. So let's go into the snake room and take a look. All right. Here's a really nice looking girl. And we're going to see her clutch that just hatched out. This is an Enchi Hypo. 100% head for rainbow, which is a recessive, beautiful, albino-ish looking uh, morph that's not really out there in the market too much. It's just starting to make its way in there in a big way, I think. Um, I had a beautiful male super enchi rainbow hypo that um, unfortunately, after I bred him, just passed away. Now, luckily I got a lot of babies back in 2018. This is one of the females I produced from him. Um, I bred this girl to an pastel butter and she pet rainbow. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to see some hatched out rainbows in that incubator. We have a few few chances this year at a rainbow clutches. I had a bunch of different uh, possibilities, so we'll have to see you know what we hit. Um, if we hit it, I didn't really see the last couple eggs hatch out, so I hadn't seen it, but I've se I saw some really nice looking babies in there. So um, once again, this. Uh, this female is really, really nice looking, and uh, I think uh, I'm pretty excited about the fact that um, I have an actual second generation of um, ball pythons that I bred, females at least, now breeding for me. And luckily, we didn't lose that rainbow gene. We have it in the head form, and several females, about four or five females I have, I held, I held everything back. I held everything rainbow back. I was so upset that I lost the male visual rainbow because he was very expensive that I held everything back. I even have too many males. I'll probably be putting up a few um, het rainbow males that I have combos, but this female um, is, is really nice looking. And she also, um, once again, Enchi, you can see that Enchi shining through. You can see that really enhanced look of the Enchi. And hypomelanistic uh, gene, or hypomelanism, is just a reduction in patterns. Like someone took a pencil eraser and erased it. I think everything looks better with that, uh, hypo, actually. Um, it's a recessive trade, obviously, so it's a little hard to get into these animals, but luckily um, I was able to do that. I bred the dad to a, a visual hypo, so all the babies were hypo, and so all our breeding females and males were hypos as well this year, so this is good. So everything's going to be hypo, and, and no matter what we produce, so that makes it easy. I don't have to try to figure it out. So this female is really nice. Let's go take a look and see uh, who we bred her to, and then we're going to take a look at the clutch. All right, here's the daddy of the clutch or as we say, the sire of the clutch. This is, once again, a visual hypo. This is a butter. This is pastel, and this is enchi. We know it has to be hypo and enchi because the dad was a super enchi hypo, and the mom was a, was a hypo. So this is a, a, a certainly an enchi. I can see the pastel on the head. I see butter here. This is an enchi butter pastel hypo. So we're gonna get some nice looking babies and uh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's take a look at this clutch. Uh, as you can see, just perusing it, I didn't hit what I wanted, but we still got some cool stuff. All right, so this, you know, we've talked about the, a little earlier, I was talking about what the rainbow does. Um, we didn't get any rainbows, we got some really cool, 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 cool babies. So let's take a look and start off with um, Everything's hypo, remember, everything's hypomelanistic. This is gonna be a hypo pastel, which is gorgeous in its own right. So we, we love pastel, it's got a lot of yellows in it, and it's got a lot of um, uh, you know, reduction in pattern. And then you throw the hypo gene in there, and it's like you take a pencil eraser, and you kind of erase even more, and you clean it up more. So you get a really, really nice looking pastel. This is 66% head rainbow. So both parents, or het rainbow, which is the recessive, of course. So the babies are gonna be 66 percenters. So pos hats, we can call them, but they're, they're better than just pos hats. They're 66 percenters. Um, so nice look at the pastel. Uh, we got another one of those here as well. I haven't sexed these yet, by the way, so don't ask. 
yet. Yeah, I can uh, select some later for you. There's another hypo pastel, 66% at rainbow. Um, then we kind of get into some unusual stuff. Now that you gotta remember the butter gene that the um, that was thrown by the mama. Okay, the butter gene that the father had is basically lesser. So if it looks similar, it's the same gene, just a different line of it, if you want to say, kind of like banana and coral glow. Here's a hypo butter. I don't believe that there's anything else in this. Nice looking snake, clean, 66% head um, for rainbow. So you can see the difference between these are the pastel hypos. Here is a butter hypo, or you know, like I said, if, you, if lesser is, is, is more common to you, you can go with that. It's got that same dorsal striping, the lightened, reduced pattern, uh, definitely lighter than a normal wall python would look. And then of course the hypo gene kind of just erases everything even more. I really like this. This is a really nice looking snake. It's got a lot of cool, interesting pattern stuff going on. It's got really reduction and a lot of melanin here, so it's light and it's clean looking. You know, you can see, even if you zoom in here, you can really, it's a really clean, clean looking pattern. It almost looks a little hurricane-ish, but I know there's no hurricane yet, so it can't be this. I don't think this was the hurricane dad I used. <laughs> can you imagine that? What a dummy I would be. I mixed in a couple of fathers. I don't, I don't, I think this was the one that we did not put the hurricane. Head rainbow. I have a hurricane that's also head rainbow. That's the that's another clutch that's coming up a little later, uh, maybe about two weeks from now. So we have another shot at the rainbow this year. All right, let's move this guy over a little bit. Everyone's cooperating pretty well here. So and let's go with this one. This I believe to be a. You know, there's Enchi in here. I'm wondering if this has got Enchi in it too, or one of these maybe has it. These two look a little different. This one's really clean. I think this one might be Pastel Enchi Hypo. This one definitely is clean looking. This one is Pastel Hypo Enchi, I think, or maybe even Super Enchi. Both parents were Enchi, so. That's really, really clean looking. Almost looks orange dreamish. It doesn't really, well, yeah, I don't think this has any butter in it. It's really orangishy. Um, I'm, I'm thinking this is probably Enchi or Super Enchi Pastel Hypo. Also 66% hit, obviously. Look how clean that is, look at it. I mean, you would think that it would be Orange Dream or Mandarin or something like that in there, but there isn't. You know, really nice, clean snake. And then, of course, the last one we got here, I think we hit almost everything on this one. This is what I think to be... I don't even know. This has got to be Butter, Hypo, Pastel, pretty sure, Enchi or Super Enchi. And then of course, 66% head. This one, I'll have, to, I'll have to hold this one back probably, I don't know. Look at that pattern, look how interesting that pattern is, really. See, these are the snakes you don't, these snakes you don't sell so quickly because you know what, you might give away something that's, that, that, that's hidden in there that you don't even know about. Really pretty, pretty pattern, really clean. The colors are popping. You know, there's a lot of genes. Look at a little head, that little head stamp is pretty cool too. There's like a face on there. So once again, I didn't hit the visual rainbow, but we hit some really nice looking stuff here. Obviously I can't keep everything, but this is like a project you guys can get into for an affordable price because they're 66% headers. Uh, obviously the, if it was 100% head rainbow, they'd be worth a lot more. And I can't really prove, you know, there's no real, markers per se so these these um this might be a good uh, i guess way to get into the rainbow project if you want and these are 
once again, these, these are just not, you know, het rainbows. These are hypos, they're pastels, they got butter in them, they got enchi, possible super enchi. So we got a lot going on here with this clutch. I'm pretty happy with it. Once again, I didn't hit what I wanted, but I got another shot in a couple weeks. And that one has, uh, that dad is, is the hurricane dad. So we, we really can hit, hit pay dirt if we, uh, the odds gods are with us on that. Part. I'd rather hit on that one than this one, but you know, it's, uh, I'm greedy sometimes. I want, I want to hit on all of them. <laughs> I think we all do as breeders. All right, I thought I'd just throw this in today just to make it a little more interesting. This is my IMG, Increasing Melanistic Gene Boa. It's also anery, which removes reds. The anery um, IMGs tend to get blacker. The motley IMG anneries tend to get jet black. I have a few of those. You've seen the uh, mama of this one. This is also 100% head albino. So usually these ones that are head albino, if you lift them up under their chin, they'll have a little bit of white. Let's see. If, yep, she's awesome white. So this, uh, this snake has been getting darker and darker. She's in 2019. I was gonna, I originally had her for sale and then I liked her so much I kept her. I sold her sister that was a hypo um, annery, which I guess would be considered a ghost IMG, head albino, beautiful one as well. I think she'll, this one will get a little darker. I, I like the fact that she's not completely black and I don't know if she'll get completely black or not since she doesn't have that motley gene in, but she's, she's definitely on her way. <laughs> she's definitely on her way. She, She's got some really nice looking speckling in her, her head. You know, that's how you can really tell. When they're babies, they look pretty normal, except they got, usually they'll have that black speckling on their head, and that's usually the indication that they're, they have the increasing melanistic gene in there. And so I'm pretty happy with how this girl is turning out. You can see that little iridescence she's got on, the, on, her, on her sides here uh, when it catches the light. And you know, she's still got some time to grow, obviously another probably year, it's probably two years before she breeds. But you know, these will, you gotta put the, you gotta put some backups in your, in, in your system, so to speak. You can't just depend on the same female over and over, even though you don't want to have a lot of redundancy because you want to have it. I want to like to do a lot of different projects. I have to, because you know, um, people like want black snakes. <laughs> black bow is a very popular IMGs. I don't need, to me, the IMG gene, is a little bit of a dead end in the sense that, you know, once you make a black snake, you really can't do too much with the black snake anymore. And now, obviously, if we can get the black snake, the IMG, into pie at some point in the future and make panda pies. I think that's where the, where the, um, where the, really where the, I guess you could say versatility is going to come from with that IMG gene. I know a lot of people are mixing with, you know, VPI, and it does look good with T positive. The T positive IMGs look really nice and kind of distinct, but they, you know, there's, 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 like I said, there's not that much you can do because they get darker and darker and darker. And eventually then they lose all the, you know, all, all the pattern you think you got in there, you kind of lose it. You know? And you don't know how it's going to fill in. So you got to kind of experiment with it, which it makes it an interesting gene. Once again, you can't go wrong with an old black boa. Here's a new pickup I just got today. Speaking of the IMG gene, this is an IMG sun glow sharp sun glow at that. So it's a sharp albino with the hypogene and IMG in there. And you can see that nice distinct head spear right there and darkness that's coming in. Obviously, you're not gonna see black with an albino, but you're gonna see darkness and you're gonna see purples. And if you look surrounding all those saddles, you see some really nice purples in there. And that's the IMG gene with the sharp albino and, and, and in the hypo form. So. Nice looking snake. Thank you, Matt Wynn. Uh, we did a nice trade, actually. He got some, uh, he got a nice paradigm from me. Excuse me, a nice blood parahet, which I actually think it might be a blood bow and caramel uh, double recessive. I don't know. We'll see when he breeds it out, but he got, we traded that. And uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, you know. I like how um, the IMG looks with the sharp albino. I really didn't have anything in that. I have, I have some call albino with IMG. So I figured that got to be a little, change it up a little. Look at that tail. Really red, red tail. I like that it's it's less orange in here and more red. So we'll see as it grows though. You know, those yellows come in as, as things, uh, and you mix yellow and red, you get orange. So you know how that works out, but I like her. Once again, long-term, uh, long-term pipe of 
project. Uh, we'll see how she develops over the coming years. All right, I figured, I, I, how can I mention IMG and not show my little girl here, Susan? Look at that. That's, that's a jet black snake. That's a jet black boa. She just ate it too, so I don't want to bother her too much. She might think I'm trying to feed her again. Look at that, even her tongue is jet black. The only white she's got under is right under her chin, and I'm not lifting her up because once again, I just put some food in there and she just ate. Really, really nice iridescence. There's not a speck of, of, of anything on her, really, on her, at least on the top of her body. This is an IMG anery, and it's also motley, head albina. So that motley gene really blacks out everything really nice. I mean, her face has gotten so dark. And it, I think she's still getting darker, actually, as she's getting older. I don't, even though it looks like she's completely black, I, I think she's getting blacker. I see her, I see blackness in areas that, that, that weren't there. Her face has definitely gotten darker, I think, as she's gotten older. So if you're into IMG gene, increasing melanistic gene, you know, hit me up. Uh, hopefully next year we'll have some good stuff. I just actually should sold my last uh, IMG that I had left. I was going to hold it back and I wound up selling it, but uh, I'll have a lot more hopefully next year. That's the goal at least. She didn't go this year. I thought she was going to go. She didn't, but hopefully next year she'll go. She's in every other year usually. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for today here at Muscle Serpents Daily. And you know what? Uh, cool clutch, right? Some cool IMG boas. You can't go wrong when you look. I mean, look, if you like a black boa, I mean, if you like boas, and you, how can you have a black boa in your collection? You got to have at least one, right? <laughs> Just because to say I have, I like, to, I have a black and I have a white one. I have my Super Fire Diamond, then I have a, I have the black one. And I actually have another white one, which we're going to discuss at a later date. But uh, I love to have that that diversity of black and white, all black, all white, you know, patternless in both senses. IMG does it, you know, it does it. And like I said, for me, the, the future of IMG is going to be when it's mixed into pied, we're going to see panda pied boas. Look, the, I, I can't keep panda pied ball pythons in stock because people, I mean, as soon as I produce one, they, they're sold in like, like that, that quickly. So imagine a boa that's going to be panda pied. It's going to be crazy. There's no pies right now. So, I mean, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a bunch of years, but I look, you know, I'm not that old, you know, so I think I'll be able to see it uh, to fruition. Hopefully I can see it to fruition in the sense that I can see people in the pet trade buying panda pied boas at some point in the future. My son might actually have to be doing that, or my daughters, whoever decides they like to do snakes. If any of them do, you never know. So anyway, you, you heard it here. You know, I think the future of Pied is, uh, future Pied, the future of IMG is going to be in that Pied project. I'm really looking forward to that. And it doesn't just have to be, you know, IMG Pieds. There can be other, you know, T positives and uh, T negative, you know, IMG Pieds. Who knows what, you know, might come out or what they might look like. And so... It's all exciting. It's all good, too. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Hit the like button. We'll see you back tomorrow morning.